Eddie, it'll be all right. Pull yourself together. I suggest nobody else goes down there. We should keep the room intact until the police can get here. I shall alert them first thing in the morning. What an unfortunate accident. An accident? You think so? Just after the madman's son turned up at our door? And yet you were the one standing over her body with blood on your hands. How dare you? I was too late. I was trying to help her. She... She... <laughs> there, there, my sweet boy. Let's get you to bed. Angus, would you? Of course, ma'am. I think we will all benefit from a good night's sleep. I know you may have no reason to, but I need you to trust me. I'm the only one on your side when it comes to your father's death. Lady Margaret certainly isn't. But if I told you what I saw in the chapel, you'd have me in a padded cell just like my father. So, what was my father like when you locked him up? I didn't just lock him up, I tried to help him. Your father was heavily drugged when he was brought to me. It was to prevent any further violent outbursts, or so Lady Margaret had said, but something felt wrong, even then. Why did you come here? To make sure my father was successfully in the ground? With all due respect, Mr. Gordon, I will not allow you to speak to me or about my work in such a tone. I tried everything I could to aid your father. He was convinced he was carrying some ancient curse that he was being haunted by evil. I wish I had reached him, had been able to help him. So do I. You weren't the only one who couldn't reach him. You're a persistent one, aren't you? Maybe if I threw you a bone, you'd get off my back. Father was obsessed with the history of the family for as long as I can remember. Did your father actually believe his family was out to get him? Who knows? I think what scared him was beyond the physical. He used to babble about a dark force threatening him and our family. Was that why he moved you to India? To get as far away as possible? I believe so. And yet, here you are, in the very place he sought to protect you from. Who knows? Maybe there is an ancient evil in this place. An evil that drags us back no matter how far away we get even from the other side of the world. And what do you think? Was your father right? Are there things beyond the physical? I have other things to worry about right now. Things like a drowning woman floating in thin air. If you really want to help me, I need to find out what the maid knew, what Lady Margaret and Angus didn't want her to tell me. You believe it got her killed? Maybe. What I saw in the chapel, it has to be real. She must have drowned herself down at the loch. Because if it's all in my mind, like father, like son. We need to examine the maid's body in the cellar. To find out who killed her? To be sure she was murdered before we start pointing fingers. Rory's not one for cleaning up after himself. Rory's not one for cleaning up after himself.
We need to examine the maid's body in the cellar. To find out who killed her? To be sure she was murdered before we start pointing fingers. labeled Mallory. Perhaps another client of Mr. Harrison. What is it? God! <laughs> I'll get you back. <laughs> Stop monkeying around. Come with me. I'll come inside in a bit. Don't go. Can I just have a few It's not a request, girl. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Don't go. What's happening to me? David? Is everything all right? We should make haste. find out to be sure she was
Nobody in this house is particularly chatty. Not even when I have an actual question for them. I have to thank you again for coming to my aid in there. I'm glad I found you in time. Thankfully, Mr. Harrison had made an educated guess as to your whereabouts. Oh, stunning. How curious. Come and look at this. Look, they form a clear circle. This can't be a fluke. Well, looks like one of the stones is missing. A heavy enough stone to weigh yourself down with. We need to examine the maid's body. To find out who killed... To be sure she was... Something's carved into each one. I've never seen a rose like this before. I have. The gardener, Rory. He brought some down from the glass house. There are some strange markings carved into the stones on the shore. Runes, aye. I'm old-fashioned, I suppose. Still hold to the old ways. Superstitions don't gain validity just by being believed in for a long time. I'd watch that. Your precious science doesn't have all the answers, lassie. That's an unusual-looking rose. I noticed one lying by the side of the loch. 
Aye, that's been me. A flower for the flower of Skahandu, Cecilia. My aunt? They're for her? I grew them for her. She loved the roses, did Cecilia. No, the red ones, though. Made her think of blood, ye kin. Forgive me, but wouldn't it be more fitting to place them on her grave? Why, she's no there, is she, laddie? That's not where she rests. And I don't much stand by your modern god. Rory, what happened to her? What happened to Cecilia? I'm not in the mood to open old wounds, laddie. May I have some of the roses, Rory? I'd like to place them on Cecilia's grave. What she to you? You didn't ken her? No, I didn't. But she's family. And besides, Father always spoke fondly of her. He would even smile as he talked about playing in the gardens with her as a child. He did, did he? Aye, well, that's good to kin. I should have some left in the glass house. I'll speak to you later, Rory. Aye, I'm sure you will, laddie. Sorry, lassie, but you can't go in. It's for family only. Just hold on a moment. No, it's okay. I quite understand. You go ahead, and I'll wait here for you. If I must. Aye, you must. I know, it doesn't look like I have green fingers. Looking to break some more locks, laddie. Are these... I, Cecilia's roses. They're beautiful. I like to think so. But they seem to be the only thing that grows here. These are... dead as dodos. Hard to raise anything beautiful here ever since Cecilia's gone. Can you tell me about Cecilia? What was she like? She was a lovely lassie, but uh, she had more than her share of troubles. Grandfather Edward. You can well enough, son. You said she wasn't in her grave. Aye, that I did, that I did. Did she drown? She did. Killed herself. Her body was never found. Now all I have of her is my memories. And they are not what they were. And... this. That is exquisite. Cecilia made this. She made it, I, For me. Girl must have cut her fingers a hundred times doing it. On the thorns, you can.
You are unworthy of the name Gordon. Get away from her, you coward! <sighs> Sorry, la just no. I know, it doesn't look like I have green fingers. Look into... Are these... I... Uh, Cecilia's roses. The... I like... Can you tell me about Cecilia? What was she like? She was a lovely lassie, but uh... She had more than her share of troubles. Grandfather Edward. You ken well enough, son. You said she wasn't in her grave. Aye, that I did, that I did. Did she drown? She did. Killed herself. Her body was never found. Now all I have of her is my memories. And they are not what they were. And this... That's... She made it, I... For me. Girl must have cut her fingers a hundred times. That's... She may...
that's... You are up. I could ask you the same thing. You started to talk to yourself. And then you were throwing your arms about like you were fighting something. I couldn't see what. You started bawling and the lassie came in to see what was going on. She tried to settle you, but you just went for her. I saw an old lady. She wore a long, flowing dress. Her, her voice was strong, determined. Sounds like Rosemary. She was Lady Margaret's mother. Was Cecilia not able to have children? Did that anger Grandfather Edward? 
Maybe you can see well enough too, son. Maybe you can. It wasn't her, it was her husband. He was the bother. Couldn't, uh, <clears throat> you can? I think so, yes. I well, uh, Edward blamed Cecilia for it. For picking the wrong man for her meat. You'll be fine, laddie. You just need some fresh air. This place can get to you. I need to know if there's proof to what I saw. The crack is right there. Edward was furious. Seems like him and great-grandmother Rose didn't see eye to eye. The secretaries should be... Here they are. How could I know? This seems awfully accurate for a forgotten memory. Trust your instincts, laddie. David. Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. I think this place is starting to get to me. I think that Edward may be responsible for the death of my Aunt Cecilia. Not directly. She drowned herself in the lock. I think that Edward drove her to it. Old families usually have a skeleton or two in the cupboard. Yes, but my family has a graveyard full. I feel like the madness that runs through this family, through these walls, is, is starting to seep into me too. I can help you, but you need to open up. You need to start talking to me. Uh, you would not believe me if I told you. Stubborn, just like your father. Whatever secret this family is hiding, it's costing lives. Cecilia, the maid. My father. God knows how many more over the years. The crack is the second.
Trust your instincts, laddie. David, are you all right? Am I all right? I should be asking you. Oh, I'm so sorry I hurt you. I don't know what happened. Don't worry. I faced much worse in the asylum. She's tough. I don't think it's possible to face her. Sorry again. Maybe don't leave me outside like a naughty puppy next time. Yes, quite. I feel like the madness that runs through this family, through these walls, is, is starting to seep into me too. I can help you, but you need to open up. You need to start talking to me. Uh, you would not believe me if I told you. Stubborn, just like your father. I think that Edward may be responsible for the death of my Aunt Cecilia. Not directly. She drowned herself in the lock. I think that Edward drove her to it. Old families usually have a skeleton or two in the cupboard. Yes, but my family has a graveyard full. Whatever secret this family is hiding, it's costing lives. Cecilia, the maid. My father. God knows how many more over the years. If you'd just like to wait out here, sir. I need to speak with Eddie. The young master and her ladyship are otherwise detained. Fair enough. There's no doubt about his loyalty, nor with whom it lies. Uh, Mr. McKinnon, uh, Angus, may I have the key to the cellar? You may not, sir. As Mr. Harrison said, it will remain locked until the police arrive. That's a fair point. I'm just concerned that some of the game in the cellar may have been caught illegally. Poached by young Eddie there. Well... I'd be happy to get rid of the evidence. For ready to be found poaching on another family's estate could prove embarrassing. You're barely part of this family, but you have a point. I'm the new owner of the estate. 
I worry what people will say about it. About the family. I think the dead maid will have them chatting already. I do, and I don't think Lady Margaret would take kindly to any such embarrassment. Uh, upon reflection, removing the evidence may be the best course of action. Here you are, sir. There's no doubt about his loyalty. No. Not like this. We need to examine to find to be sure.
Good thing I found that map. He would have never given up the Seleki otherwise. What a horrific way to die. What a horrific... They seem to be a house full of carnivores. Her neck's been broken, and with some considerable force, it seems. Her necklace looks like gold, albeit a plain design. And it's missing any form of pendant. Still, well beyond a maid salary, it... Oh, where's that sudden draft coming from? Your stag is here, my little doe. Little doe? Not exactly the usual way to address the staff. Mr. Gordon? Speak to me, please. David, can you hear me? Mr. Gordon, are you with me? Mr. Gordon? Speak to me, please. David, can you hear me? Her neck's been broken. Her neck... Still. Your... Little doe. Oh, where's that sudden draft coming from?
Water. Connect. Your stag is here, my little doe. Little doe? Not exactly the usual way to address the staff. Ooh, where's that sudden draft coming from? The missing pendant. He threw it into the Bloodfield Basin. Mr. Gordon? Speak to me, please. We're all here, sir. All down in the dark. We're... Something's coming. The attic, sir. She's in the attic! What just happened? You look like you were in some kind of trance. Perhaps the lack of sleep is affecting me. Or the visions that you think me insane if I describe them to you. I know you're holding out on me. I am on your side, remember? I thought I'd proven that to you already. Perhaps I'm misjudging her. Your father wouldn't speak to me either. Please, let me help you. Or not. I'm not a patient. I'm not a madman. Ugh, that's horrible. You're not the one with your hand in it. French. I don't speak French. I do. It says for Clara, forever yours. Who's Clara? <laughs> I don't know. Yet another relative, perhaps? We should ask someone who's been around here for longer. How did you know it was there? The pendant, I mean. If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. A hunch. Eddie gave this to her. We should ask him to his face just what his relationship was with her. This isn't another ghost story, is it? Look, you wouldn't understand. I can't... What I do understand is that we cannot accuse a man of murder without proof. The scene really did rip when she tried to get away from him. They seem to be a house full of carnivores.
Uh, Mr. McKinnon, who is Clara? Uh, the lady, Clara. Young Eddie's late mother. A box with some of her belongings are kept in the library, as Master Eddie feels himself more a Gordon than a Mallory. Maybe once I find out what really happened to Father here, I can finally talk to my family and staff about some lighter topics. If Eddie really gave her that pendant, he might be her killer, and I might not be losing my mind. Clara seems to be the name of Eddie's mother. It's hardly an uncommon name. We need more proof for a grave accusation like this. The belongings of Eddie's mother. Recognize that? The necklace. Is that? A young Eddie and his mother Clara. I regret to inform you that your husband, Corporal Victor Mallory, number 874511, was killed in action with the enemy on the day of the 14th of September in Ypres. Your husband was involved in an advance against enemy lines. While he and his fellow soldiers fell, the action was successful, and you can take comfort in knowing his sacrifice saved many lives. It was not possible to get his remains away, and he was buried in a soldier's grave. Please accept the condolences of all the company. Yours, Captain Arthur Jones, 4th Army. Thank you for your last letter. My heart soars with every word of yours I read. I touch the ink and imagine your fingers are just inches from mine, that we can almost touch that I can almost feel the warmth of your skin once more. Young Edward grows more like his father each day. You'd be amazed how he shares your looks. I long for the day that this terrible war is ended and you return home to us so we can be a family once more. I shall write to you again soon. Know that until then you are always in our hearts, your loving wife. Clara. The date. She was writing this when the death notice arrived. Oh, the poor woman.
you see? The necklace was his mother's. He gave it to the maid. The maid. You're right. We need to speak to him about this. But how could you know this? I can't help you if you don't tell me. Cousin Eddie might be a murderer. How I draw my conclusions can wait for now. Eddie, I need to ask you about the maid. About Ailsa. You didn't know her! I know that you and her were... That is to say, I know you had feelings for her. What? That's poppycock! You're as deranged as your father was! David, really? You go too far with this behaviour. The police will be here soon. Would you not prefer to clear this up before they get here in case they link Eddie with the crime? Now look here, young lady. How dare you speak? That's enough. Eddie. You gave her this. It was your mother's. Uh, I did. It was. Eddie! I was just trying to cheer her up. She has nothing, and I had no need of it. You know she sends... You know she sent most of her money home to her grandmother. Her clothing was ripped, as if someone was trying to force themselves upon her. I would never have hurt her. My little doe. Strange thing to call the help. Uh, how? It was just... just harmless fun, that's all. You're a worthless liar. You think she thought being pressed against a dead animal was harmless fun? How do you know? It's true. Elsa and I... I would never have laid a finger on her. We were in love. I helped her with everything. Even with her chores. Uh, uh, Rose and... That's quite enough. Eddie, you are obviously upset. And you are not helping, David. Angus, will you please take the young master upstairs? As you say, ma'am. I think you have caused quite enough disruption here. We shall settle this heritage dilemma first thing tomorrow. I don't think so. I have more questions now than ever. About my father, the maid, this whole damn house! Have a care, David. Need I remind you of your father's temper? I would never! Given the current mental state of Master Eddie, who should be a part of the Heritage Considerations, any discussion on the topic would be futile at this point. Would you not agree? <sighs> Thank you, Leah. Maybe it's a good thing you're here after all. Impudent brats! What's going on? Did you notice when Margaret got angry? When Eddie mentioned chores involving Rose. What does that mean? It can only have something to do with Lady Rosemary and Aunt Cecilia. And whatever the maid was doing in the attic. The attic? I saw the maid coming down the stairs with a tray, but there's nothing up there but an empty room, or so I thought. Interesting. What is it, David? 
I have to see. David, wait! You have to start confiding in me, David. What are you seeing? I can see echoes. Memories of those who lived here. I see my father as a young boy. He's trying to communicate with me. Perhaps you visited here as a child. Maybe you're remembering stories your father told you of this place when you were young. You see? I said you wouldn't believe me. If I'm only remembering things, how would I have known where to find a pendant? How could I have known he tried to force himself on her? Unless you think I killed her? I don't think you killed anyone, David. And you're right. I can't explain it. So? So, we focus on the facts as we know them. <laughs> Go on. You saw the maid's body. Her neck was broken. That was the work of a human, not a ghost, yes? I, I suppose so, yes. Lady Margaret knows more than she's saying, that's for sure. Godspeed getting anything out of that old hag. No, I know. But Eddie might be an easier option. Yes. Yes, we need to find him. And make sure Margaret isn't there to interrupt. I believe she's already gone to bed, but I'll check. You go find Eddie. Well, that's clear enough. Well, hello, my dear Elsa. Oh, Sir Edward, you look very handsome today. Eddie? Why, thank you. You're as beautiful as ever, my little doll. Oh, mwah, mwah. Self-made dolls. Ugh. The stuff of nightmares. Eddie, can you hear me? What can you tell me about Great Grandmother Rose? What did Elsa have to do? Eddie! Quite safe, the little rabbit said to his brothers and sisters. 
The fox is fast asleep, so the rabbits tiptoed past, but the fox was sly. He wasn't asleep at all. He opened his eyes. I've warned you before to mind your own place. This will be the last time you defy me. The eyes of the fox, they shone with cruel light as he punched on the rabbits and ate them all, one by one. It was only then he went to sleep, his tummy full, his heart content. I wonder what's on the other side. Is there... Uh, no... Can't see a switch or lever. I guess not all castles are like Edgar Allan Poe used to describe them. The maid could never have afforded this. This is a trinket of the rich, not a servant. The maid could never have afforded this. This is a trinket of the rich, not a servant. <sighs> Not like this. I've never seen a key like this before. It feels like Father wanted me to keep it a secret.
secret passage. What do you think you're doing? That won't be long, I hope. Look after Eddie. Just a little further. Damn it! That's it. Open wide. Good. Good. I don't I want any. That's all right, dear. Did I tell you that John's son David has arrived? He's as bothersome as his father. Not worthy of this place. Poor Angus will never recover from the sight of John's charred remains. Selfish, selfish man. Please. Don't. I do not enjoy this, as you well know, but you brought it on yourself. Your son was a good man. You should not have defied him. skin and bones. How is she still alive? I found the wooden switch. It was in the bookcase. You scared me half to death. Well, you will insist on wandering off without telling me where you're going, and I just managed to avoid Lady Margaret when... <laughs> Jesus God! I saw this. In a vision? Edward beat her with it. Used it to cripple the poor woman. Oh, my God. And he hung it there to remind her every day. Take it down. You're sure? Do it! Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Rose? Rosemary? Can you hear me? Rose? Rosemary? Can you hear me? Rose? Rosemary, I'm David, John's son, your great-grandson. Here, try this. No, like this. Gently. Who did this to you? Edward. I was... Bad. I disobeyed. Disobeyed? How did you disobey? Cecilia. I tried to stop him. Stop what he was doing. What was he doing, Rosemary? Should. Not have disappeared. <laughs> Not the 
Yes, Terrapin in the old wing. Never talk back. Rose! Rose! What did he do to Cecilia? I don't think you'll get anything more out of her. Poor woman. Come on, Lady Rosemary. We'll get you out of here. No! We can get you somewhere safe. I'm safe here. In this room. Safe from the black mirror. <laughs> The Black Mirror. Margaret has a lot to explain. I think we need to have words with her ladyship. Margaret, we need to talk about... Lady Margaret, if you please. Never mind that. What the hell are you doing with Rosemary? You're one to talk. You're just like your father, leaving nothing but fear and misery in your wake. What in God's name are you talking about? You spoke to young Eddie, did you not? Now he's convinced everyone is trying to kill him. He has taken poor Andrew hostage and is threatening his life. Where is he? He's taken him to the old wing, and he is armed. I'll go. I can talk to him. You will not. You two have caused quite enough trouble already. We? How dare you, when you continue to worship Edward, even though he drove poor Cecilia to drown herself? I will not allow you to... To what? To speak the truth? To say that Edward... He never touched her! You come here, and you... No, you. You are the one in the wrong here. You know more than you're saying, and we both know it. There's something in this place. An evil that has plagued our family for generations. Instead of blaming others, maybe you should look closer to home for the cause of your misfortune. You know nothing. What I did, what I do, everything... Everything is for this family. How can you possibly understand? Please, my lady, we can discuss this later. Miss Farber, you need to speak to Master Eddie. Take us to him. This way. Uh, have a care in the old wing. It isn't used, and for good reason. A section of wall fell into the sea some years back, and the rest is falling to ruin.
Over there, sir. Eddie? No! No! They're after me! All of them! Trying to kill me! No! Please help! Eddie, look at me, Eddie. Just at me. It's going to be all right. Stay back here. I'll try to reason with it. You will not. This is what I do. Eddie? Talk to me, Eddie. Tell me what's troubling you. Troubling me? He is! And David! They all are! He they all are what, Eddie? This might be a way across. Accusing me! They think I killed her! The maid, you mean? But I didn't! I didn't! Stay I believe now. you, Eddie. I believe you. about and stay still let him go eddie everything is all right come here <laughs> seems intact now for some ammunition seems in It's a bone. Should work if I'm careful. If I go any further, he'll notice me. Let's hope this doesn't snap under the strain. Uh. David? <laughs> 